Hi, I've worked at Vodafone for a couple of months. What have I learned at this company, which nearly everyone in New Zealand knows its name? In this video, I'm going to share a few things I've learned and also some tips for you if you're starting your new job. Let's check it out. Hi, welcome to Bear Academy. I'm Bear, a UX and product designer who lives and works in Auckland, New Zealand. As mentioned, that I've li- I've worked at Vodafone, the largest telco company here in New Zealand, for a couple months, and I've learned a lot. And it um, it is a great job.、Uh, my job title at Vodafone is. A senior UX designer, and I'm working with two teams, an eShop team which involves the, a website of our、um, all the online products and all the digital equipments for、uh, for e-commerce, and the other project is called My Vodafone Web. It's an app for all the customers who's using Vodafone service. That can check their services and、um, ask for help or support. So this is our two. These are two projects I'm working at, and I've learned a lot from from this the whole process. So、uh, actually, I think the easy thing will be sharing my sketch note what I've learned at Vodafone. And it will be easier to share it, but also, I think I can、um, I can share、uh, some details for that. So the first thing I think what I've learned is to understand the complexity. So Vodafone is a large company with decades of history. The platforms they are using are super complex, which make makes design progress is a hot. Challenge. It's a challenge. I'm not a big fan of redesign project as a UX practice.、Uh, this is I can share in all other videos. And now I'm even more against it. So this is all the this all the reason. You never know the real constraints, feasibility, and complexity of the project. For example, like take Vodafone. For example, we have some. Legacy platforms that cannot change much, and it really limited your design、um, uh, for the f- on the f- on on the whole on the whole journey. So I think to cope with this, to cope with complexity, you need to have a faith of UX approaches.、Um, for example, design thinking or double diamond design process or other things, and also. Communication is the key. If work in silo, you might not have high. You might have high risk of the later stage. And this brings me to what I've got, what I've learned at Vodafone is communication. Right? I think I've put it here. Right? Communication. I think the first one to become a better communicator is to be a team player. And if you're working with a team. Um, normally, you need to support other team players. You need to be transparent about the things you're you're doing, about the knowledge you have, and also commitment is the key. You always commit on the things you you said you're going to do. So, don't be a barrier, don't be a blocker. You don't need that. You don't need to become a blocker to show your value. That's not your value. It's about to get things done. It's about to support other people. And I think commitment actually is your value. This is the first thing、uh, of, uh, of of communication. What I've learned about communication at Vodafone. The other thing actually is quite、um, different. It's about to show your work, especially to senior people. I mean, this sounds really、uh, interesting because sometimes. If you're a designer, if you're a developer, maybe you're good at doing what you're doing, but you might not good at presenting. 
especially presenting it to some、uh, executives or some senior stakeholders, especially、uh, in a large meeting uh, with uh, a lot of people, you might not feel comfortable to do that. But what I've learned is that it's really helpful to show your work to those people and to get some support. It can really get the next stage much easier or much smoother, and also can get more support from other people,、uh, so、uh, from other teams. And my trick or my tips is about to set the scope and to navigate the expectation. Is about to to show them, okay, what's、uh, what you what the problem you're going to solve, and to guide their、uh, expectation, not jump directly to the final scope, but one by one, step by step, and then it will really help you to achieve the goal. Actually, uh, during uh, what I'm. What I'm doing at Vodafone,、uh, I had a few、uh, spring reviews that in- involve some、uh, senior stakeholders in the meeting. And what I've done is to, I think,、uh, some some trips,、uh, some tricks is that do some pre talk about you, what you're going to show to to them.、Uh, send them some trailer.、Uh, for example, I when I finish the design, I might send them the drafts、uh, of the hand sketch. Hand draw drafts、uh, for the design, and then talk about the final design during the meeting. So, just increase the curiosity, and then leave some hook. Yeah. So this is what I found is really important. It's just not be afraid of talking to people. And for myself, I'm an introvert. So my goal is to become a loud introvert, and I think. This is what I've learned of learning、uh, of working at Vodafone. The second one, the third one, the third thing、uh, about learning at Vodafone, I think, is to become、um, a navigator. This is all about pro- work proactive and be、uh, be active, and sometimes take the control、uh, take the control of your time of your productive and、uh, take the control of your calendar. So. Uh, for this, I think it's just about no one can tell you what what you will do next is the best for you. So you got to find it by yourself. And、uh, what I've learned for this is actually two things. One thing is it's okay to say no, and also you need to learn how to say no properly, and、um, learn to say it. But also about what we previously、uh, discussed to show. Uh, your commitment and to build a trust with your team, and second thing I think about this is to probably quite detailed is about to design your calendar. Yep. So you have the full responsibility of your time and your productivity. And if you're working in a large company, probably if If your、uh, schedule,、uh, if your schedule, if your calendar is empty, and to fill up automatically with a lot of meetings, a lot of catch-ups with other people, but I think you need to design it and you can manage it.、Uh, I will record another video to show how you can design your calendar to make the best use of it in the late,、uh, later stage. If you're co-、uh, if you're interested about that, please leave a comment. I will, and、uh, to, to I will share. I'm going to share it later, right? So this is、uh, the th- the third thing, the final thing I've learned at、uh, at Vodafone to be a navigator. I think that's、um, that's pretty much all the things. And actually, I've learned a lot, including you know take the advantage of your strength and the resource you have、uh, while you're working. It's really important. And also, I've learned a lot. From my boss, she's really good at communication, understanding, understanding the goals, and also keep the team motivated. Probably later, I will also record another video、uh, about what I've learned from all my bosses. Yeah, it could be fun. Right, I think that's all I've learned. And because now I'm I'm taking.、Uh, 
I'm taking another decision to move on from Vodafone. So I really appreciate those people I've worked with. And also thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it helpful for finding out what you've learned at what you're doing, <laughs> right? And if you have any story you want to share with me, please leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed this video or this channel, please subscribe it to support me and to leave a comment to build some interaction. Right, I'm Bear. This is Bear Academy. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in another chapter. Ciao. Thank you.